Hi everybody, this is Maya and today is day 28. So we've got what? 29, 30, 31. We got three more days to prep for National Novel Writing Month. And I don't know about you, but I've been running around like chicken with my head cut off because today is the day that I want you to do something that if you don't do it right around day four, nothing will seem more important than doing this thing. So what is this thing I speak of? Today is the day you clean your house. Yes, because when the story gets hard, when you really don't want to sit down and do the work, all of a sudden the house looks really dirty and it has to be cleaned right this minute. So it's just much better, much easier to get it out of the way beforehand. Start with your writing space because for most people, unless you're like my son, for most people, if your writing space is really, really clean, then you're able to think more clearly and you want to be able to look at your outline every single day and see what you've got set up for the upcoming day, think about it, meditate on it, and feel really calm about it. And if your space is disjointed, and messy, and doesn't make you feel comfortable, warm, and calm, then you're going to have a harder time doing that. So I recommend you go through your writing space today and you clean it. And then if you have time, then I want you to go through the rest of your house and clean it to the best of your ability. All those things that you know if you don't do them, when your writing gets hard, you're suddenly going to want to. For me, it's bathrooms. Every single National Novel Writing Month, right around the very beginning of week two, the week two slump hits, and suddenly I have this enormous urge to have a completely spotless bathroom and the grout has to be scrubbed each line individually and it is nothing but emotional procrastination so just get it out of the way do it ahead of time then you don't have an excuse for later the other thing I want you to do is I want you to get a box just an old box here is an old Amazon box because Lord knows I got plenty of those and you're going to start putting things in this box that make you feel inspired, that make you happy. So you know how I said no reading of like writer's technique books during the month of November? Don't put any of those in here because like the clean bathroom, um, when you get in a slump, nothing's going to seem more interesting than Zen and the Art of Writing. You're going to want to read it and reread it and reread it and reread it again and you're going to do that instead of writing. What I would recommend is if you have the audiobook version of, of um, Stephen King's book and you have it on like a player or something, stick it in there. I would recommend putting candy in there. Maybe your favorite uh, coffee beans that are kind of rare and super expensive that you never allow yourself to eat, have, put that in there. For me, it's special XOXO truffles from San Francisco. These are things that when you get towards the end of week two, the beginning of week three, you start to feel discouraged. You start to want to think, well, you know, I've written 20,000 words, so if I quit now, it's really not that bad. You're going to open this up. It's the open in case of emergencies box. You can also put things in here like writing props. Um, I recommend putting them on little slips of paper and sticking them in there. Also, a letter to yourself. You can sit down and write a letter to yourself. Talk about why you want to do National Novel Writing Month and how it's going to feel to succeed. Put that in the box. Seriously, that's a good one. Put that in the box. <laughs> um, if you bought a winter shirt in advance, you can put that in the box. Normally, they don't get out until like the second week or whatever. But, you know, if you've bought one, if you've pre-ordered one, put the receipt in the box so that you can remember, oh, I can't quit now because I have a shirt coming in two weeks. And if I quit, I'm going to feel really sad not being able to wear my shirt because that stinks. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't pre, if you don't pre-order your um, shirt, I highly recommend it. Nothing will make you more motivated to finish faster than realizing if you wear the shirt that you just paid for, you're going to be a liar. So I recommend pre-ordering your shirt. Really anything that you think will inspire you, make you happy, make you want to get up and write, put that in the box and then just close it, tape it. Maybe put some cute wrapping paper around it and then set it aside. Do not open it in week one. Mm, I would recommend wait until you were at the pit of despair. The point where you're missing days. The point where you're thinking, 
I don't want to do this anymore. That's when you open the box. And that's my suggestion for you today. It's quick, it's easy. Clean your house, make an inspiration box. And really, I think the inspiration box is a huge help. You know, when I completed my first National Novel Writing Month, I actually had wrote in my journal the reasons why I wanted to finish. And when I hit the week two slump, being able to look at those reasons and think about it was all I needed to get out of that depressed writer's block, I can't do this phase that I was starting to get into. The thing with National Novel Writing Month is, yeah, if you miss a day, you can get caught up. If you miss two days, you can get caught up. Trust me, I've done it. It's not fun. But if you start missing days, it's easier to miss more days. And once you start doing that, then it gets harder to catch up. So having little tips and tricks and tools that you can use to keep you inspired is really helpful. Things like writing prompts, letters with your goals in them, candy. Don't eat candy all month long. I know the kids do it, but, oh, you know, you start to regret that in January. Coffee. I have like a special coffee bean that I really like and it's super expensive and I never get it for myself. And putting a tiny bag in my emergency box is a really nice incentive. And then on those days when I think I can't do this anymore, I look at the box, I think, is it that day yet? And a lot of times it isn't. And I'll be like, no, I can write today. I don't need to open the box today. But right around week three, the box gets opened. Like, who are we kidding? The super special coffee in the letter is really helpful. And it starts talking to you and you start wanting to open it. And then you open it and you feel better and you start writing again. And that's your goal for today. Ciao.